So in this video, I want to take you through adding a tool locator into your Milton environment so you can use. Um, what you see here is a Sandvik C4 Capto holder. And I'm going to be attaching a turning head, if that's what you call it. So just want to show you the model. Okay. And so what we need to do is open up another instance of Mastercam. We'll select our machine. And for this one, I'm working on a Doosan Puma. And um, so the really the reason why I'm launching Mastercam with this machine is so it can open up our code expert. And it's taken a few seconds. Let me bring it over to the main screen. Okay, so this is code expert. So I need to navigate to my machine explorer and I'm going to my component libraries. And I'm working an inch. Okay. If you don't see machine explorer, let's go to the view tab and click on it here. Okay. So we'll right click and open or you can double click and open. Now this will launch a new session of Mastercam with my components library opened. All right, so here's my component library and I'll be adding a tool locator here to my upper tools group. Okay, so I'll be adding one here. First thing I'll do is I'll close this. So I'll just hit cancel. I'm going to go over to levels. Okay, I'm going to create a new level. We'll give this a name. And this is just a generic name. Now what I'll do is I'll merge. So I'm going to go file and merge that solid model. Okay. Send it tools. And it can be Mastercam files or step files. So my file is a step model. And I believe it's this one here. Yep, that's the one. Okay, I'm not going to align it just yet. All right, I'll just go ahead and save it to the active level, which should be level 700. All right, check mark there. So there's that's the active level. Okay. Now the reason I didn't align it, I didn't change the orientation, is because I want to actually use an existing model as reference. So let's use level 50 here. So I'll make this visible. So really my model, which is this one here, really just needs to rotate 90 degrees so I can align the dogs or the bosses. Okay. So I'll select my model and just for simplicity, I'll use dynamic, snap it to the origin. And really most of, most of my experience working with models like this, they're usually in the correct position just need to change the orientation. So I'm really just rotating this 90 degrees. Okay. You can see the, these two bosses are in line. Okay. That looks good. We'll hit the green check mark, turn that off, turn off the other levels. Okay. Now, now that I've imported my model, or I should say merged in my model, and I've aligned it properly or changed the orientation, now I'm going to go back to the machine tab, over to the machine definition. This will open up my component library. Okay, expand upper tools group, expand upper turret. Okay. So these are the list of existing tools in this machine. And if you notice, each tool matches, or each tool name will match the level name as well, which we'll do as well. So now I'm gonna right click 
on the upper turret and I'm going to add a tool locator okay and I'll give this a name oops okay and copy paste and I'll say single head because in the following videos I'll show you how to create um, a locator with two heads or maybe even four so for the two heads I can use them to import into a turret that can index halfway so I have half indexing turrets or I can have one head for my left spindle and one head for my right spindle and when I'm saying head I'm saying a turning head or a turning body that I can import into the Capto uh, tool locators okay so would we'll leave this as is now what I want to do f next is go over to the geometry tab and you don't have to follow me step by step this is pretty much just my workflow what I'm showing you is what needs to be done and then you figure you work out the steps the way you works best for you okay so now what I want to do is I want to import my geometry so I'm going to select a solid entity okay and we'll go down here select an entity and I'm selecting the merged solid okay there okay so I don't do anything else here now I'm going back into my parameters now let's go ahead and fill this fill in this information okay so now I'll work down so this is only a, a single station tool okay so um, again if I had multiple stations two or four I'll see that populated here so um allowable tool types I'm gonna say it's a fixed tool insert down okay because this is the way I defined my 3d tool and you'll see here in a bit okay so I'm going to say fixed tool insert down tool orientation so this is not a neutral tool so this means that it can't work on the left and the right spindle it can only work on my left spindle okay now going over to tool position on locator I'm going to click on this arrow here now I'm going to select the position of where my tool locates here so I'm going to say in the center of this edge here okay and then tool holder position to match so my 3d tool it's a round tool and it's selected on the back face on the center so this is correct tool 5 okay let me pause so I can show you my 3d tool Okay, so this is my 3D tool. This is the one that I'll be using for the locator that I'm defining. Okay, so what I want to show you is the machine connection point. Okay, so notice that it's defined already. So this is the connection point for this 3D tool onto my locator. Okay, so if I go back to my master cam screen a lot it's this one here so this will match my 3d tool okay so that's correct this all looks correct here okay so the next thing I need to do oh by the way assigned I'll set that to zero because this tool can go on any station or any index on this turret if for some reason I was creating a live tool and there were certain positions that accept live tools then I need to assign it here okay so let's go ahead and we'll say okay here looks like we're done and I should see it here on the list it's there now let's make sure to hit save We'll hit the green check mark. We're going to go over to Code Expert. Okay. 
So notice this GMD file has an asterisk at the end. That means I need to save it. So let's save it. Once I save it, you'll see that asterisk go away. Okay. All right now, let's test this machine. Okay, so I'll just uh, start a new session, so a new instance of Mastercam, and I'll select my mill turn machine. Just give this a few seconds. All right. Okay. Back over to Mastercam. I'll just load my new tool and I can just use it for my lathe library okay, and this is the capital tool I'm using okay then I'll go over to my turret so second so mount tools onto my turret so the tool setup manager okay so here I see my Sandvik C4 capto I'll just click on it and I'll drag it on index one. Go on any index. So let's just go to index one. So I don't see my tool here. So I'll just go to display, drop down menu, say all tools, click, hold, and I'll drag it over to station one. Okay, so I can right click here and I'll say view component and children. Now that looks good. Now let's see the turret with the locator and my tool. So I right clicked on the upper turret. Now I'll say view component and children. So that's how you import a locator into your Milton machine environment. Um, hope this helps. Mm -hmm.